Hey third graders, I have a math challenge for you today. Please follow my directions the best you can, step by step. Okay, first step, get a piece of copy paper, blank paper. You need that and you're gonna need a pencil, okay? Pencil and paper, okay, get that and then start the rest of the video once you got those things. Okay, I'm using a crayon for this part just so you can see it, but you can sure use a pencil. First thing, make a square on your paper like that. Now you can see that I have cut that square or that shape, it's almost more like a rectangle, isn't it? Into three different sections. So now do that. Okie doke. Now you can see I've added the brown lines across so that I have nine squares inside my square, or maybe better, nine rectangles inside my rectangle, or nine quadrilaterals inside there. So I want nine boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. When you have nine boxes, you can go to the next step. Next step, okay, with a pencil. From now on, please do everything in pencil because over the years I've learned that most third graders make a mistake on this right away and that's great or fine or whatever, but then you can erase it. Can't erase crayon, marker, or pen. Use a pencil from now on. Write these numbers on the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Those are the numbers you are going to use for this assignment. Write those numbers down. This is very important. There are nine boxes and nine numbers. Each box needs a number. You have to put a number in each box. You can only use the number once. You can only use five once. You can't use five three times or four times because you can only use it once. You can only use each number one time in what, are, in what we're going to do. What are we going to do? I will tell you right now. Good luck. This is a challenge. It's called the magic box. Challenges can be hard. If you don't get it right away, please don't quit. If you don't get it right away, don't feel bad. And here's what you're going to do. First thing, the numbers you put in when you add them, this is all adding. This plus this plus that is going to equal 15. Also in this row, three different numbers, this number plus this number plus this number will equal 15. And not only that, in this last row, this number plus this number plus this number will equal 15. So all the rows will be 15 going across. Oh, but hold it, because that's not that hard. Not only will this way be 15, ding, dong, ding, 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 ding. Not only will that equal 15, rows going up and down will equal 15. This plus this plus this is gonna equal 15. This number plus this number plus this number will equal 15 that way. And this and that and this will equal 15 that way. So this row will be 15 across, it'll equal 15, but it'll also be 15 up and down. Okay, maybe that doesn't sound too hard. Oh, hold it, I forgot one more thing. Okay, not only will this plus this plus this equal 15, and this plus this plus this equal 15, and this plus this plus this equal 15, and this plus this plus this equal 15, 15, and 15. Diagonally is gonna equal 15. So this and the middle and that is 15. Okay, not only that, but going diagonally the other way is gonna be 15. This plus this plus this is 15. Whoa, that's why it's a magic box. Okay, to wrap up, all the rows going across are gonna be 15. 
all the three rows going up and down, each row is 15. And then even the diagonals are going to be 15. 15 is the thing. I'm going to show you how to do this wrong in just a second. Okay, this is wrong. It's not right because it's wrong. Look at this, five and two is seven, eight. Hey, that's 15, I got that row right. Nine and seven is 16, plus three is 19. Dang, that's too big. That's not right, so the whole thing has to be right, so I gotta do it over. Let's look at this row. That's 11, that's not enough. Look at this row. That's 15. Hey, look, that's 15. Whoa, and so is that, but not all of them are. So I'm close, but close isn't what we're looking for. Remember, we want all three rows 15 across, all three rows 15 up and down, and all two rows diagonally 15. Let me give you a hint. If you have nine and seven in the same row, that is never gonna work because that's already more than 15, already too big. And look here, one and four and six, that's not even close, that's too little. So think of building your numbers, like maybe try eight with a middle number and then a small number, or five with another middle number, or one maybe has to go with a big number because it's so small. There are more than one way to do this. I will try to show you the right I will show you the right answer at some point on Schoology. But before I show you the right answer, I want you to try and get this and when you think you've got it, then post your screenshot of your magic box. So remember, make a square, nine squares, write these numbers across you can only use each number once. Notice I didn't use fives only here once, fours only here once, and I still didn't get it right. So that's part of the challenge. Yes, you can get help from someone at home. Try a little bit. If it's too big a struggle, don't have a meltdown, we'll figure it out. But part of the fun is getting the challenge. Part of the fun is feeling like it's hard and you got it. Each row has to be 15 when you add up the three numbers. You can only use each number once. Good luck.